So guys, there are good, good news. Now Huawei is allowed to participate in the 5G network in the UK and also they have launched a brand new Huawei Innovation Center in London and it's a place where they show you what you can do with 5G and also a few secret things which I didn't know that they have existed. So let's check it out. Huawei has opened the doors to its 5G Innovation and Experience Center in London, which is used to promote greater collaboration with the UK's 5G ecosystem as well as showcase the potential real-life impact of 5G. When I arrived at the place, I expected something else, because from the outside, with all the Chinese lanterns, it didn't look like a high-tech center. But inside, I already spotted some 5G modems mounted on the ceiling. Inside of the innovation center, there have been a lot of Huawei products that I've never seen in my whole life, like the Huawei VR glasses that connect to the Mate 30 Pro and much more cool technology. So let's take a closer look. The key benefits of 5G are not only faster download speeds, even though downloading a movie in seconds instead of minutes is cool though. 5G is actually much more and there are many business use cases that I never thought about. But let's start with some cool consumer tech. Last year Huawei has announced their Huawei VR glasses in China and it was my first time to see it in reality. But what have VR glasses to do with 5G? Well, it's all about streaming. Whether you need to stream 8K, which relies on heavy bandwidth use, or stream content fast and latency-free for VR, 5G is getting the job done. Huawei has its own VR video platform that contains games and 30,000 hours of HD content, besides having agreements with platforms that serve the Chinese market. If the headset appears in the Western markets, it is expected that it will work with the Steam platform, as the VR2 does. Huawei believes that 5G is the next big thing for content transfer and streaming. VR will be even more appealing to wider audiences, and VR headsets can become the third screen along with the smartphone and TV. I tried it and the video quality as well as the latency is superb. There is a wireless controller and the headset is connected to the Mate 30 Pro directly with USB Type-C, and this is finally an easy to use solution for VR that doesn't require a super expensive and powerful computer. Also for business applications, VR will play a big role in the future. Imagine you are a remote worker and you require some help from an engineer. Then the engineer could give you advice using VR glasses to tell you exactly what you have to do. Or let's think one step further. Imagine you have an operation done by a robot which a doctor is controlling over VR from 5000 kilometers away from you. Now this sounds maybe a bit scary now, but who knows if that's not the reality in 10 years from now. But yeah, robots or autonomous cars need the 5G network. 4G had already a good latency, but it's still too slow for such applications. The low latency of 5G means that the responsiveness will be much more instantaneous, which autonomous cars will need to have in order to interpret sudden changes in road conditions and also where hazards occur. Now streaming is also a big topic for content creators like me, because we all have good cameras, but the bottleneck for streaming is always a good internet connection. Huawei has shown here a streaming backpack that can turn every mobile reporter or streamer into a TV station. This kit with 5G could be a game changer for television journalists and could replace a 15 million dollar TV van for providing high quality content from on-site. And this is already reality in China. Pretty amazing. Talking about gaming, our games nowadays always require more and more performance and force people to buy expensive computers. But with 5G, this is going to change. Cloud technology allows video games with complicated graphics and storylines to be streamed and played via low-powered devices such as a mobile phone or even cheap computers. Just imagine playing Call of Duty on a $70 Windows PC you bought from Craigslist. That's pretty cool, right? Now, I tried Fortnite, which was streamed over 5G, and to be honest, it was well playable. For pro gamers, well, I would agree that a dedicated system may be better in the beginning of 5G, but as this technology evolves, we're gonna see some massive changes in the gaming industry. One demo that I found really cool as well was streaming yourself and rendering yourself into a video. Imagine you're playing in a band and you're six months abroad somewhere in the world, but still want to do a jam session with your band. Well, with 5G's low latency, you can do that in real time. Latency would kill the experience when trying to play something in a band, 
Just imagine the singer or the guitar would have half a second delay, but with 5G, that's no problem. Now this sounds all really cool, but people are really scared nowadays about radiation from 5G and I totally understand it. Huawei is trying to be here completely transparent and they have incredible R&D resources. So Huawei is also showing, based on scientific researchers, that there is no way that you need to be scared about 5G's radiation. Well, I won't deny that 5G emits so-called non-ionizing radiation that's harmful when you're very close to the tower. But the drop rate in the air from the signal is so high that after a few meters, the radiation is less than using a hairdryer at home. You need to understand that when a signal travels, it gets weaker after it travels some distance, and this is really important. Now tests show already that 5G radiation will actually be lower than 4G, because more antennas are needed that run at lower power levels, which means that the level of radiation from 5G antennas will be lower than from the 4G ones. Also there are regulations on where to place the 5G towers and nobody will ever be able to access them except the engineers who have to shut off the base station first before they can access it. Now I would recommend any of you guys who are worried about this to check out BBC's documentation on this topic as it explains it very very well. But to answer all your question guys, soon there will be a video about the truth about 5G where I interviewed Thomas Gear and he is cleaning up with all the misinformation on the internet. So stay tuned for that. All in all, 5G won't be here tomorrow. It will take time to roll out in most of the countries. But it will be a game changer for the tech industry and also the industry in general. Commercial applications range from smart mining to smart fishing and much more. Because 5G also enables a lot of devices to be used in a small space and that is a game changer for factories where a lot of sensors are used to collect data. 5G is so amazing here because the sensors need to transfer the data first of all fast, without latency and also there have to be many sensors connected on a small room without any interference or problems in the network. And this, only 5G will be able to achieve. Alrighty guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and I really hope that you have enjoyed it so far. And I have to say, my visit to the Huawei 5G Innovation Center was really, really interesting. There are so many applications for 5G that I didn't know that they actually exist. Then also there was some really cool hardware to check out as you've seen in the video. By the way, the Huawei VR glasses are really, really cool. So you definitely need to check them out. And yeah, um, also we talked about the safety about 5G. And I know that many of you guys are really, really scared about 5G and I wasn't always 100% sure about this technology as well. But we talked about so many things and you really need to watch my next video um, where I interview um, Thomas Gear from Huawei. He's a brilliant guy, he's talking really honest. And please guys, also check this out because there you can see that there is absolutely no reason to be scared about 5G. And there are many videos on YouTube and they come from people who don't do any research. Actually, they do research, but they don't have any knowledge about the hardware itself and what it means. They just do research based on some facts which are absolutely not true. And yeah, the next video will be very, very interesting. So make sure to stay tuned. Alrighty guys, big thanks for watching this video. As always, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.